Hi! So today we're making maple vanilla cupcakes. The recipe is in the description and I hope you enjoy! I start off by taking half a cup almond milk, half a cup maple syrup, third a cup vegetable oil, half a teaspoon apple cider vinegar, one tablespoon vanilla, and one tablespoon of ground flax seeds. You're just going to whisk this together. Then I'm going to take one and a half cups of flour, half a teaspoon baking powder, half a teaspoon baking soda, and a pinch of salt. You're going to mix that before gradually incorporating your wet ingredients and whisk that together too. Now I'm going to take a muffin tin that I'm going to line with paper cupcake holders and grab my batter. I'm going to be using an ice cream scoop for even and level scoops, but you can also use a measuring cup or a spoon and just scoop in your batter. You're going to bake this at 350 degrees for 20 to 25 minutes. For the frosting, you're going to start off with one cup of vegan butter that you're just going to whip for about five minutes, then add in two to four cups powdered sugar, a third a cup almond milk, and a splash of vanilla. Once it's done, you're going to section off your frosting and put about three quarters of it in a piping bag fitted with whatever tip you want. Then I'm just going to let them cool a little bit before I frost them in whatever pattern you'd like. When you're done frosting, you're going to want to refrigerate them for about 15 minutes to let the crumb coat set. Ignoring how messy my hand is, that's what I'm doing right now. Then you're going to take some of the frosting that you did not use and add in red and yellow food coloring. Mix that together to get a nice light orange color. I'm going to put that in a piping bag with a small fine tip and on a sheet of wax paper, I'm going to draw little hearts. You're going to freeze that for about 15 minutes or until it hardens. Then, when you take it out of the freezer, just slide them off with a knife and place them on your cupcakes. I didn't place it on all of mine, but you can if you'd like. And there you go! These cupcakes are so good and they give you a fun, unique flavor. If you haven't, please subscribe and check out my blog. You can do it by clicking here or in the description. See you next week.